Hello and welcome back. We've got this match between Blue Chocobo and the Dragon Feeny coming in for you. Dragon Feeny is going to be on your screen and Blue Chocobo is just going to be looking uh, pretty uh, devilish over there on the bottom left. So best of three, but all three matches are going to be played. Whoever has the most clears at the end of 15 minutes of each round will get the win and the winner of the best of three will get an extra point. So Blue Chocobo has 29 points and is at eight and one coming off a loss to the one and only Little Curbs. And Dragon Feeny has got a lot of wins peppered out between a few losses there, but she's four and five. She's at number eight in the league, where Blue Chocobo is number three. So we're going to be getting started here any second. Boom. She's going to be getting set up. Oh, she hit a, a, a little bit late. Supposed to be starting on the actual press play screen, but Area 51 by Jody AB on Blue Chocobo's side. 16 seconds. Looks like there's going to be some cheese here. And Feeny finds herself in a speed run. Not sure what's going on in either one of these levels. They don't look very, um... I don't know, neither one of these levels seem to be well thought out. <laughs> Chocobo is taking a skip, and Feeny's working her way through this, uh... She's gonna need that, that helmet. She's going to need that helmet. All right. 1-1. One one. Uh, right at a minute. So Chocobo's going to go ahead and give this a shot. Probably see if we have a easy clear on our hands. Feeny's still sticking with this clear. She's not going to be able to do much else. She's going to have to go over the top of those swamps when she gets to that point again. I'm not sure what her timer says. I can't really see her timer from where I'm at. Uh, 30 seconds left on the clock coming into this. She's going to spin jump on top of that. Or actually just go over the top here. Uh, there it is. Fantastic. Finding the cheese. So, Feeny on the board first, taking first blood here. 13 minutes to go, only two minutes down on the clock. One clear for Feeny. Oh! Chocobo just hitting that P-switch, thinking he might have actually missed. But finding his clear as well, Blue Chocobo. One, Feeny. One. Looks like a 10 second speed run for Feeny. Beating out that world record by two seconds, setting a precedent that nobody will expect in the future. Hopefully this is not a tight... Uh, that's really close. She's got this. Deciding to go ahead and go for this one. Taking a small step back, going to grab that power up. All right, Chocobo finding a door. How close are we going to be at the end now? Getting a checkpoint. Getting another power-up. Feeny getting clear number two. Blue Chocobo with one. Working his way through this level here. Who won? Who's next? You decide. I, I mean... These pre-recorded matches, uh, the restreamers, which by the way, shout out to Tim Little Free for doing our restreams today. Um, they will usually listen in and see whose audio is what and see who's got better audio of the two. Um, for the live matches, it's pretty much uh, just whatever's discussed. Imagine a rap battle of curves versus unknown ability. I'd get wrecked. <laughs> Oh man, I would have have no question in my mind of how bad I would lose that. Curbs tying it up. Or not Curbs, excuse me. I meant to say Blue Chocobo. Curbs is last game. Yeah. Blue Chocobo tying it up with Feeny. 2-2. Two, two. Hey, 
<laughs> you can hear her high pitched. I'm scared. I agree, the unusual guy. A lot of times you can just hear what she's thinking. All right. Oh, wow, that's going to be a... Oh, man, that's a tough jump for Blue Chocobo. Feeny making her way through still has her damage boost, which is going to be very useful. And she was only on that last little bit here. Made it over. YOLO jump! Uh, that's a nope. Easy jumps. Curves making his way through. Going back into the... What is this? Uh, game? I'm not a fan. <laughs> wow, that was something else. And there's a P-Switch door at the bottom there. That's so weird. Oddly enough, he could go back in that door. Going for a little bit of cheese there. Needs to kill the thwomp, I'm guessing. That's different. And not in a good way, either. Feeny getting told to follow the arrows, but I think she found exactly what the developer really did. Hey, look. Such a great level. Feeny, clear number three. Now, you're probably wondering, why is he skipping... The fire flowers, because you're not going to be able to get through those. You probably could cheese that part, um, because you can duck and bounce a lot, but it doesn't even need it. Don't even need it. Alright, Curves keeping up. Not Curves, Chocobo. Good lord. Y'all have me thinking Curves with as much as y'all been trying to compare. Um, Chocobo matching 3-3. Three, three. By the way, that's the commentator's way out. Just plain chat. Blue Choker Curbs. Beanie about to go up in there. Gonna go see what is available up here. Getting a life, some extra coins. That is actually useful with the fact that she's at seven lives. She's probably gonna be wanting as many as she can use here. Gonna need to mm, move this a little bit faster. You're not careful. Does she need that coin? Oh, please tell me the red coins aren't needed. Because that's going to be heartbreaking if the red coin... the red coins are required. There's no point in going for him now, though. Alright. Curbs needs to get through the... Or, Curbs, good lord. I will one day remember to call him Chocobo. Blue Chocobo needing to get through this without taking any damage. As a cape, it's going to help a little bit without taking damage. Now, here's the funny thing about the no-take damage. You can't damage boost. So you can't do the cape uh, ground pound and damage boost past that. You're either... You're pretty much set in your ways. There is none of that. But makes it to the end. Fantastic job. Taking the lead for the first time this match. Four to three, but Feeny keeping it four four. Chocobo only barely ahead with six minutes to go. You can duck in Mario One and Super Mario Maker Two. So yes, you can duck in Mario One. Uh, in the original Mario, you could also duck when you were big. But in uh, Mario Maker 2, as small Mario in Mario 1, you can duck. 
Oh, Chocobo. Okay, Chocobo just missing some uh, dangerous damage there. Okay, this looks like a nightmare. You need one ups. Where are you gonna get these? They're all there. You need a bomb. Where are you gonna get the bomb? There was a bunch of bombs in the beginning. <laughs> so, hit the bomb here. Okay, I see what he's gonna do. Alrighty then. Well thought out, sir. And Feeny making her way through this SMW level. Are we gonna find the end real fast here? He's got his required clear. Gonna go straight to the end. Easy. Every time. All right. Chocobo still keeping his lead at one. Feeny taking another death. Unfortunately, she's gonna be at eight lives. All right, she's going to find the end, keeping it even. Five clears to five clears with four minutes to go. We are neck and neck. All right, getting low gravity level here for Blue Chocobo. Oh, missing his ride. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not like this. <laughs> Chocobo missing his ride twice. Vini. Laughter. Just missing the jump. Yeah, that's, um, this is, this is, uh, some massive levels of garbage. But she has got the clown car, got the fire. She's probably going to need the key. Uh, you know, you have a possibility of going around the other side, but she's going to go ahead and kill them off. Going to go fight Bowser and Bowser Jr., It's a free power up, which is always nice. All right, that's two keys down. Chocobo still on. Oh, does she have the third key? She does. Oh no, she has to take damage. How are you supposed to do that? I get it, but wow, that's uh, that's something else. Six clears for Chocobo, but Feeny knows exactly what she's got to do here. So all she's going to need to do is just kill these folks off. Make sure not to take any damage. Okay, so probably going to kill Bowser Jr. real quick. She can... Plan this out the best she can. Alright, that's one down. Now just has to defeat Bowser without taking another hit. 3D world level. There you go. Oh no. Chocobo just missing it. We got a minute to go. Feeny just has to be able to hit the up button enough times. Yeah, new super low gravity levels have a lot of cheese involved where you can just literally boom, 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 boom over and over again. Really, really quick, really easy. Feeny clearing that out, getting six to six with 50 seconds to go. 
but Chocobo has a little bit of an advantage here because Chocobo's going to be heading in with more knowledge about his, his level than Feeny has on hers. So uh, this is probably going to come down to can Chocobo... Well, never mind. So JGS giving a level to Feeny. Six to six. This is coming down to the tiebreaker. Mario's Galactic Space Adventure. Whoever clears their level next is going to get the win. Chocobo is skipping. That is a... What it means to be a thwomp. We have a Monk of Think level. Five seconds left to go. A minute 16 is the world record for this level. Pretty much jumping and holding right, avoiding these thwomps. Oh man, okay, so we got another skip. But Feeny is armed to the teeth in this Cuphead level. Things have changed. The Bowsers are on the right now, losing her damage boost from... Oh no, okay, she's down to her last hit, but she's like really close to the end. Feeny! Clear number seven! Getting the win. One point for Feeny. Clutching that out. Fantastic job. We're going to be resetting the clock to 15 minutes. We're going to be moving on to round number two of this best of three, but we're still playing all three. All right. Chocobo and Feeny going into round number two. Starting up here any second. Yeah, that was that was insane. Good job on Feeny's part. Nailing that Cuphead remake level. Chocobo finding a bad couple string of levels, but that's perfectly okay. Still able to bring out a couple of wins if he need if he can do that. Um to get the extra point. License plate flag quiz. Shaq's Icy Hot Adventure. Sounds like a great couple of levels. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling you're going to need comments, but you can't turn comments. <laughs> All right. Chocobo is going to go into uh, Shaq's Icy Hot Adventure. <laughs> Deciding to, to trust Shaq. A two minute level for Dragon Phoenix. Skippy, skip, skip. Uh, Jose Man XL. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I can't read that. Alright. You gotta defeat the Thwomp. How you gonna defeat the Thwomp? The Thwomp is right there. You need something to defeat the Thwomp. Is there a random... Thing up here? I'm not sure what you need to do. Well, we know where the or a Thwomp is at. Blue Chocobo deciding to skip Shaq's Icy Hot Adventure. Deciding that Shaq's level is not nearly as good as his acting. Or maybe just as good, for all we know. Alright, so there's a lot of Thwomps in this level. So we, we see a little bit of the light here, but Feeny's going to go ahead and skip that as well. No clears on the board. We're down two minutes. Funky Fun Guy, Prince of Persia. Uh, no, this is Mario Man. No, this is Patrick. Oh, miss... <laughs> Missing the call. Realizing, oh wait, I, I had a method to get there. Chocobo first on the board with two minutes or 12 minutes, 45 seconds left on the board. So with that, it's going to be 1-0. Feeny looking for her first clear and Chocobo going in to their second level. Oh, EBM, you know, that's never going to stop. That is like the thing with Super Mario Maker 2 is 1-1 remakes with the multi like with the verses being a thing. 
That's all that's around is 1-1 one, one remakes. Oh, well, that this level looks easy. All you gotta do is just jump. Uh, why don't you... Oh, wow! Time's out right at the last second! Well, literally, that's what a timeout is. Um, but no need to worry about timing out anymore. All she has to do is just go down and go back to the five ball. Why don't you triple jump, Chocobo? There you go. That death was well worth it. Chocobo not spending any more lives on that. Feeny does tie it up. Yeah, see, I can make fun of myself. Listen, I, I am perfectly capable of making fun of myself. I don't need you to do it for me, Chad, okay? Yeah, I can make fun of myself, forehead. <laughs> uh... Bob Yob, so why were there checkpoints? Because this is expert. And expert oftentimes will have checkpoints when you don't need it. They'll put them there because the level creator made the level and realized, oh, well, this part's hard. If I make it past that, this part that gave them trouble can be uh, done over and over again. So it seems useless when it comes to most checks. But Feeny found herself another really quick level right over the top, right on top of the axe. Boom. But Chocobo simultaneously clearing his level. It's 2 2, folks, with 10 minutes and 30 seconds left. Oh, I completely agree. I'm used to watching Super Expert 2, where you're lucky to even have a checkpoint. Soda Sanctuary. And you gotta reach the goal in the Koopa car. Wouldn't even check the time for this. 20 seconds, okay. You still need the Koopa car. Koopa cars are are definite, verifiable offer. Oh, parachutes! Another amazing addition to Super Mario Maker 2. All right, going up the hill in the car. That was a miss. All right, Feeny making her way through. Land on the ground! I dare you! I dare you to! Go ahead, give it a shot. You'll never beat this level. Hard level, I made it, and it took me 13 hours to upload. You'll never beat this level, I dare you. All right, Feeny is making her way through. Oh no, just <laughs> going a little bit too fast. Taking a death in Soda Sanctuary, but Chocobo taking that dare at face value Clearing number three, Feeny's making her way through this level here, hopefully getting Soda Sanctuary out of the way. Reach the goal of defeating all the Magic Koopas. There's three of them, so it looks like you have to go through every room here. Get to the end of them and finish that out. Oh wow, this is a lot of... Wow, man. This is definitely seeming like a interesting level here. On Chocobo's and as well as Phoenix. Pretty much gotta make it back through with these tornadoes and hopefully not taking a death, but he's uh, she's going to go ahead and she keeps forgetting the whole right. Oh, wow. Yeah, this this section on Chocobo's in is something else. He's got a key, but got to kill off this last. All right, there you go. Got all three of those down. Beanie, remembering to hold left. <laughs> the true final boss of this. Oh! Mm. Okay, never mind. What a troll. Haha, you so funny, game. Alright, 
three clears for Feeny. That's tie up, but I have a feeling Chocobo's about to get to the end right now. Ow. This is the pipe that never ends. There you go. Chocobo's got four clears to Feeny's three. Feeny's going to be starting this level 18 seconds to go. Checking to see if there's any cheese at the beginning. Oh, well. Probably need a spin jump. All right, that's boom, boom, okay. Yep, definitely needing to spin jump. If she would have just regular jumped, would have died at this point, obviously. All right, gonna ride. Ooh. That'll happen. A lot of times you don't know if the thwomps are going to have the parachutes on them. That is probably the trolliest aspect to most thwomps in the game. Because you don't know if it's going to stop early on. 31 seconds, you've got... A bone shell. That, that's hilarious. I don't know what's so funny. All right. Okay. All right. Chocobo is getting a second clear, making that lead by two. Fanny's going to need to find herself in a decent level to go ahead and make it through and clear. But that is clear number five for Chocobo. Moving on to number six. Feeny skipping this level, deciding to say, nope, 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 nope. You can see it written on her face. Nope. Hey, five question marks. Defeat all Bowser Juniors. Thirty seconds. Is this a troll level? I don't know what this is. Twenty-nine seconds for the clear. Chocobo just missing the on-off switch over there. He decided to skip that level. Going to go on to the next one. Feeny, oh, just getting slightly behind on that. Because it hits those springs, it's going to constantly bounce out there. I mean, let, let's face it, unusual guy. When is Feeny not smiling? Feeny has always got smiles on her face, man. Uh, it's right over there, Feeny. Oh no, what do you need? You, oh, you need to kill Bowser Jr., that's right. That's regular Bowser. Where's Jr.? You can't get out of it. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. She decided to stick with it, and there she found the end. Right on. Go, Feeny. Right on. So, clear number four for Dragon Feeny with four minutes to go. Five clears over on Chocobo's end. Skipping this level, it's got a, like, four-minute clear. I didn't see the exact time. I just know it was way above what you want. All right. Abandoned Castle from Philippe321. What level is Dragon Feeny going to get? Ye old Switch Race by E. Mario Bob. Sure. Alright. Oh! <sighs> okay. Oh no. You can do this, Feeny! You're almost there! Whew. I can't hear the timer. I can't hear the P-Switch timer, by the way. Just letting y'all know. So my my possible unneeded, like, noises, I don't know. I was just kind of guesstimating how much time she actually had there. All right. Get a free one up there and a... Okay. That's fun. Uh, ooh, this level is something else. I, I like this level that Feeny's on. Uh, Chocobo finding a skip streak, unfortunately. But the level Feeny's working on is definitely something else. She's doing a very good job keeping this moving. Thought about going over, but maybe realizing you can't make that. Hitting the ball and off switches. Okay. 
Talk about getting another switch. Another skip, excuse me. Uh, switches on the brain over here on the right, and then right here, falling. You could see the scared on her face. Getting the one frame jump to collect the coin. Clear number five, tying it up with two minutes to go. Chocobo is on a skip streak right now. But finding a level that is definitely doable, just a little bit spammy. Making short work of this, though. Oh. Beanie getting trolled. An infinite fire flower Bowser fight. How original. All right, Chocobo. Killed off Bowser. Beanie. Knowing what she's got to do, just got to ha- Oh, just got to miss these- a little bit right here, Chocobo getting clear number six. Beanie is on a small pixel jump here. She's going to have to do this in the next minute to tie it up. Very close. Very close. Oh no, just a little too far. <laughs> oh, this is going to be, this is the perfect level to be on though. With 30 seconds to go, this is the absolute perfect level to be on. Boom! Ties it up with 30 seconds left. 6-6. Six, six. Alright, what do we got going on over here on Chocobo's end? Does he find himself in a level that's going to be super fast, super easy? Oh yes! Oh no! Time's up! Chocobo knows what is going on here. We got 23 seconds on Feeny's end, and we have a short 10 second level for Chocobo. So this is going to come down to what... Who's going to be able to get there first? Zero, Chocobo comes out with a win. That was down to the wire, because Feeny was really close to being able to complete that in that 23 seconds. That was really close. That was well done by both runners. We're going to be moving on to round three. And whoever wins this will get an extra point and be walking away with three points to their name. Alright, we're going to be getting started with 15 minutes back on the clock. And round three will be getting started up. Good luck to both runners. I love the fact that both of these these rounds have gone into overtime and showing that it can go either way just by by knowing when to actually take the right level and move with it. Alright, we are started off. Just have to get through those spikes. I, yeah, I don't know if you want to spend too much. That's one of those really tough decisions you have to make. Yeah, and, and Bob and Chat gets it right. Super Mario Maker 2 Spike Hitbox. They are the final boss of this game, 100%. Not even a question, they're the final boss of this game. Oh, 
Oh, just missing that. These upside down levels are just, they, they hurt your head some. All right, Feeny's trying to work this her way back through here again. Chocobos, it's kind of strange. Almost a find the, um, find the key level. It's very different. Getting a checkpoint for Feeny, that's actually very useful. Uh, this looks like a... Like... Super Mario... Like, Mario Fight Remake style. It's like it's it's a walk through the past. I didn't see the name of the level, so I don't really know what it's uh, what it's expecting. <laughs> what? What is this? Okay, that takes you above there. All right, Chocobo getting first on the board with 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Now, Feeny is kind of low on her levels right now, but it looks like she's going to get a sort of a Kaizo consistency level here, doing some pow drops, doing some spring jumps, probably going to have some shell jumps, maybe even a double shell jump at the end. Oh, wow, never mind. That was, like, way easier. Oh, hey, I know what this is. Yeah, so this is a level that was... Not really a level, it's actually a, a glitch in the heights of the sprites when it comes to Luigi and Mario and the Toads. So the Toads are actually a different height than Mario and Luigi. They actually fire that fireball from a different angle. It's, um, I don't know if that's been patched out or not, is the thing. I don't know if they fixed that with, with people actually talking about that. I don't remember which one is which, though. Yeah, just deciding to skip it. I, I can't blame them at all for doing that. I can't blame um, Chocobo for deciding to skip that, because I don't know if that's been patched out or not. Yeah, I, I don't I have no idea. I know with the most recent update, they did the, uh, you know, the, the with friends deal. So it's kind of hard to say whether or not they patched that because they, they tend to do fixes a little bit, um, a little bit more like secretly and things like that. They're not as open about their patches like they were before. So this looks to be a very fun looking level. Feeny just has to throw the shell up. There you go. And we have a fast... You're gonna have to kill the Goomba, not the Goomba. Or the Galoomba at that. I'm not sure what's going on with this level over here on Blue Chocobo's end. That's just, uh... Oh, hey, never mind. He figured it out. That's well done. Just needing to hit that jump at the right right angle to actually land on that platform and get to the end. Simple Upa Simple. Andre 24. All five of the regular coins. We are two for one. Chocobo. All right. Luckily, you can retry that, so that's not too bad. Hmm. A minute 28. That's a uh, different. So they're pausing at the start to look and see what the world record is. 
So in order to be able to get to get through and do these with enough time, wow, death pipes, fantastic. In order to be able to get through these at a with enough efficiency and to be able to clear as many as possible, they're going to look for about a minute or less. And whenever they see the minute and higher, they're going to they're going to skip on through. They get unlimited skips for this this format. Yeah, Feeny is on three lives. This is really tough, but... Oh, man, just out of time. But she knows what's going on here. She's at least going to get one life if she can clear this right now. But Chocobo, locking down number three. So Feeny's behind a little bit. She's going to have to really make sure she gets over there. So she's not going to have to do the jumps here. But, boom, free life. She's going to be back at three, really making sure to skip past that. Doing a great job there, and Chocobo's on to number four, Climbing Down Cheap Tower by Dinan. I recognize that name. I'm wondering if that's a, a regular. Oh, wow. <laughs> the slow rolling fish. This level. A minute in four seconds, deciding to go with it. Going for the car. Not sure what this level is. Hmm. All right, Chocobo's finding himself in a... Well, Feeny ties it up. Just like that, no questions asked. Two lives back on the board for her, making it five lives. That's definitely useful. All right. Looks like the creator did think about the way the thwomp gets through, gives you a little bit of time. Um, not a bad use of the... Uh, of the costume here. I kind of like it. Oh, that's fun. All right, Vinny's having a run for her life here. Ooh. Wow, man, this is a clinching level here, man. <laughs> wow. Good job, Feeny, getting clear number four, and just like that, Feeny is ahead. Chocobo finding the way through the pipe right at the end, deciding to forgo the lives. Doesn't really need them at 14 lives now. 4-4, four, four. we are right back in the same path that we were in in the previous two rounds. All right, we got a Japanese level for Blue Chocobo. Feeny is on a skip streak. I think you're right, the, the unusual guy talking about the Goomba is key, a popular level. I, it might have been some level that, like, Carl or something like that, um, or someone like that actually featured on their channel. Defeated that Koopa, just gotta do these jumps. Not exactly tight jumps, but doing a good job avoiding those spikes, because that can get tough. Alright, not falling for the platform going back. And Chocobo getting clear number five. Is Feeny on her way to the end as well? She's just going to ride this calmly. Whatever you do, don't get scared. <laughs> Meowser's Revenge. 
All right, she's going to make these tight jumps here. All right, she's making her way up. Minute 36, we got a skip streak on blue chocobos in. She's found her way to the blue pipe at the end of the uh, vertical side. Uh, this is something else. Okay. Well, that was fun. I'm glad she held right, because she could have fallen into that poison right at the end. But, we are tied again. 5-5, five, five, 3 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Right down to the end. All right, Feeny just missing the jump there, but she's got herself in a decent level here. 45 seconds. Ah, she probably thinks, okay. She probably thought she could do it, but we got clear number six on Chocobo's in. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. Oh, man, I don't think you can make that. I don't think that's possible. I think if it was possible, that, that clear time would have been way lower. All right, so she's going to go ahead and give this a shot. I don't remember what the clear time was that on, on, on this, but deciding to go ahead and go for it. Blue Chocobo is in a level that does not have a clear time. Trying to get in there, missing it. Skipping, going on to the next level. But Chocobo is ahead 6 to 5 with 2 minutes left to go. If Feeny can get this clear, it will be tied again. All right, we are at 19 seconds. This might be the nail in the coffin right here that Chocobo needs to go ahead and finish this out. Twenty-seven seconds on Feeny's end. Four lives. Just gonna have to really keep a close eye on what's happening here. Not a tight timer on Feeny's end. Chocobo skipping on his. Going into a minute and 20 seconds left. Chocobo is ahead by one. A clear for Chocobo puts a lock down on this and gets them the extra point. Oh no, Feeny getting crushed. Chocobo deciding to go with this. It's a do not take damage level. Ooh, but probably no power-ups in here. Okay, taking a death. We're down to 55 seconds. These levels, man, these levels are crazy. All right, Chocobo is moving his way through here. Twenty-five seconds on the clock. Both runners are making their ways through this. Oh, man, it's so hard to pay attention to these levels going on. Chocobo going down the pipe. Fifteen seconds left to go. Beanie hitting down, going through the pipe. It's right there. Feeny gets a clear last second, six to six with five seconds to go, but we are getting close to the end of Chocobo's level right now. If he dies here, that's going to be huge. Chocobo's ju jumping up, finding a pipe. The end of the level. Chocobo takes the win with his seventh clear right at the very end. GG's to Chocobo and GG's to Feeny really like just putting some sweat on Chocobo's brow, doing a fantastic job. I, oh man, every second of this was an amazing match to watch. GG to both runners. This was a pre recorded match. We do have the next match coming up here shortly between The Beast and Trihex. So definitely stick around. The Beast is number two on this list and Trihex is at number eight. Trihex is coming off of a win. Beast is coming off of a win as well, but Beast lost a little curve, so Beast is probably going to be looking for some redemption there as well. We do thank you for sticking around, folks. We got plenty of more Super Mario Maker 2 action coming your way. Thank you very, very much, folks.